Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So in this video, I'll be installing the chamfer in all these pieces, which softens those edges and makes it look a lot better, I think. I could be wrong, but I like it. It hides mistakes, which I needed that on this project because I made a bunch, but you can't really tell. So let's get started. So this is one of my better joints from the vertical piece to the horizontal. The gap is almost beautifully perfect and it's really flush it's a little off right here but not all of them are that perfect i mean i have some that are just a fingernail gap that's the the biggest mistake i have but it's not that big of a deal what i'm going to do is i'm going to chamfer this whole edge right here and i'll chamfer the edge on this board on the uh, horizontal piece too and it'll um it'll soften this and you won't notice it as much this will end up becoming darker because of the way the grain is when I do my finish on it. Also what that'll end up doing is making each piece stand out as its own piece and that they are separated so that you know it makes you think about the joinery in it. So right now I'm going to go and put a chamfer in all these pieces wherever I have an adjoining piece to another piece. You got to remember to hit record. If you don't hit record then it doesn't guess what record. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. So in this router set that I got there was a chamfer bit as well and there it is right here it's got a bearing on it and peanut pain i'm peanut what are you doing i'm gonna huff them i'm gonna puff them i'm gonna blow our house down so i'm gonna check this and test it out on a couple things to see what kind of depth i have and see what kind of angle i end up getting in the board So I did a test run on my final pieces, which is probably stupid, but see that made that look pretty nice. You can almost go deeper. Let's go a little deeper. What do you say? Let me give you a, a real close up. So you can see how that really softens that edge. So even if there was a gap down there, this portion, this, these two points are going to take stain differently than this. So it's going to be darker. So it'll hide whatever bad joint I might have. And looking at this chamfer, I'm going to go such a small hair lower, I think. So after just talking to myself for about 10 minutes, I've decided I'm going to go just a little bit deeper on these joints. People ask me who films this stuff. Who are you talking to? And I'm talking to my self. I'm batshit crazy. So I dropped it down a little bit and I kind of like that. You can't really see it in the lighting, but I would say that's about a 64th over an eighth inch maybe in the, the length this way. This side I burnt a little bit, so I'm gonna have to sand it. So this might end up becoming almost 316. So I like that depth. If it went a little deeper, I would be okay with it, but I'm gonna go and router all these edges now. Man, I shit you not, I smell copperhead and that's what peanut keeps sniffing out peanut I just did the length of that board and I'll tell you that feels perfect so I just routered up blah, 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 blah. so I just routered routered I have, I have trouble saying small 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 and routered routered is that even a word so i just used my router and chamfered this edge see now i just escaped that disaster <laughs> go you or a crack it i tell you you're seriously there's something wrong with you oh you can't stop laughing that's it it hit me sorry so i just chamfered all those edges and um, on the ends i got a little bit of burn i'm just going to take 120 grit i'm gonna put it on a block and I'm going to look and try to match this angle as best I can. When I take a pass, I can see if I'm holding at the right angle. If there's more, um, more wear on one point than the other, I know I'm not holding it right. But it's hitting those damn holes, you mother <sighs> Peanut, why do you keep doing that while I'm filling? Come here. Come here. Whoa, whoa, way too serious. Like, you're like at a 10. Can I bring you to like a 2? Go lay down. Go lay down. My gosh, you're like mean. Like, chill out, dude. Like, I'm just trying to have fun. The amount of hours that went into this one piece is insane. Insane. Damn it. 
I missed a f***ing joint. I'm I'm really turned off by your vulgar language. It's it's kind of um, self-depreciating. I'm scared about you. I'm worried. I think you should get some help. No, I'm good. Thank you though. Thanks. Thank you for your concern. D R U N C K. Can spell it still, right? So right where this point meets, I end up having like a radius edge right here. I'm gonna come back with a chisel and a utility knife and clean that up a little bit. I'm not gonna do that outside chamfer until the door is glued up. If it's glued up and I like it, then I'll do it to the whole exterior of the door. That's a that's a commitment I'm not willing to take. That's like getting married. Whoa, whoa, honey. Whoa, let's slow down. Can we like bring it back a little bit? I'm kind of scared. You scared me. Horrendous mistake I made earlier. You forgot something. It's like when like a mother forgets their child at McDonald's. Like, how do you do that? That was a long, a lot of video, a lot of talking. So these are my beadboarding pieces. I need to put a chamfer in these as well. These will make these stand out a little bit. And I want to kind of do a big chamfer on it. Uh, to do it on the roof side will be pretty easy. To do it on the tongue side is going to be a little bit more challenging. I'm going to have to set up some type of table to do that right here. So right now I'm going to do these two sides. Where the f did I put them damn mother clamps? There they are. Found them. So I set my um, my depth back to the chamfer that I have for the inside of the windows. I think I did at least. I should check it first. So since I want a uh, deeper chamfer right here, I made sure I set my blade to the distance that the chamfer was on the um, horizontal and vertical pieces on the inside of the frame. That's beautiful. I'm loving that. So I got my two groove sides done. Now I need to do my tongue side. And that is going to be a pain in the arse. Like straight up the most difficult thing I've had to do on this whole project. Now since this router bit has a, um, a bearing on it and the depth is set to a certain point, this right here won't work when I do my routering on my, uh, my tongue side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a table. Since I don't have a routering table, I'm going to use my router. I'm going to, I'm going to fasten a, um, a base onto the bottom of my router so I can make this cut with a grooved router bit. So I made a table basically for my router. Now I'm going to use this against the thing. Um, what I did was I put one screw in it right here, threw the plastic into this, and then I used a set of vice grips to clamp this down to the fence after I got that to the correct angle. And then I set the depth to make sure it was right. This took forever to set up. Oh yeah, I just messed up on that piece. Royally, royally. You couldn't put a more royally up on that. That's gonna be a pain to make disappear. Good job there, d So I chamfered all those pieces. I'm just going to soften the tongue a little bit so it's, not as, so it's not as sharp going in. Straight edge. Perfect for me. That's amazing. I cannot believe I've made this. Literally, absolutely. Astounding. 85 and an eighth strong. Um, excuse me again, I'm hearing copyrighted music, and that, that is a violation of YouTube's user agreements. You are a violator. You need to be punished. I'm striking you. 85 and an eighth. A little stronger this time, this way. Nice. Did you do that like. Did you plan that? That was good. I like how you had everything explode everywhere. It's good. I still gotta do a lot of sanding to this, and that is just gonna be boring stuff. I might touch base on it. I don't think I will. We'll see. Oh my gosh, this song reminds me of Mexico. Can we get Mexican food tonight, please? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna jump ahead and see the rest of the series, make sure you go and check out my Patreon account. 
and I will send you the links for the remaining videos of this series as well as any other projects that I do in the future that are multiple videos. I'll send you those before they get uploaded to the Publix. And also make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave your comments and questions down below and I'll answer those questions in a later video. It's so cold out here I can't even think. And also if you would share the video to your favorite social media, whichever that might be. In the next video, I'm going to sand. So I will give you some sanding tips maybe. Okay, thanks for watching.